Hey guys, it's Neil from Engadget. I'm here with an iPad running the first beta of iOS 4.3. Apple's added a few features to the iPad, specifically in this one. Uh, the first is the switch on the side, which was originally rotation locked and then became mute in iOS 4, has now got an option to switch it back to rotation lock. So you can see here it's <coughs> switching rotation. I can just click it over. Now it's switching mute. That's great. A lot of people want that feature. Uh, and then Really cool stuff here. Uh, they've added some new multitasking gestures, uh, four and five finger gestures. So I can go ahead and pinch back to the home screen, which is neat. I can swipe up to get the multitasking bar. Uh, I can switch, say, into the App Store. Look at that, it's in Gadget for iPad. I can swipe with four fingers to go back to settings. I can just keep going. I think I had. Um, this is Twitterific that's open. Um, I can go into Kindle. I can go back to Twitterific. I can pinch right back out. I can swipe up. Go back into settings. I can swipe back up. I can jump back in the App Store. Um, really, really quick ways to jump around the apps that you've got open. I can swipe back up. Go back to settings. I'm actually having a really good time doing this, which is really silly and indicates a lack of sleep from CES. But yeah, those are the new features in uh, iOS 4.3. There's also some cool stuff around um, AirPlay in this release. You can see it when you're at the first app here and you swipe, it bounces a little bit. Some cool stuff around AirPlay. Third party apps can now use AirPlay. Um, but these are the iPad specific multitasking features, and obviously uh, the side switch has been changed and customizable now. So there it is, iOS 4.3 on the iPad.